There is one leading contender out there who is not totally sold. And it happens to be that Erickson Lubin challenges the notion that Carlos Adamas is the boogeyman. According to a recent article, he has something to say about that. Lubin is still in contention for a world title and is looking for that smoke. In an article published earlier today in Boxing Scene, today is July 3rd, 2023, Erickson Lubin has come forward stating that he does not believe or see, perceive Carlos Adamas as a boogeyman of the division. The middleweight division has always been a glamour spot in the sport of boxing. Some of the games best built their name and fame, including Marvin Hagler, Bernard Hopkins, and most recently, Gennady Golovkin. This, according to an article written by Hans Themistold from Boxing Scene. Over the years, however, the middleweight landscape has been dormant and flat out uninteresting. Golovkin fights once in a blue moon and has vacated all of his titles. Canelo Alvarez hasn't competed in the weight class since 2019, and Jamal Charlo, the division's biggest name, is seemingly on the verge of moving up to take on the previously mentioned Alvarez. Although it might be viewed as a bit mundane, Erickson Lubin is rubbing his hands together while he hasn't fought in that once star-driven weight class, he's ready to change that. This past weekend at the Armory in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Lubin, whose record is currently 25 and 2 with 18 KOs, KO'd Luis Ares. Moments later, he watched Carlos Adamas defend his WBC interim title against Julian Williams. The one thing about Lubin is that he's thought to be chinny. In a division where punchers can be in a, abundance, that is an Achilles. However, with the two losses that he has suffered, losing in a couple of different types of ways, Lubin believes he has turned the corner and his now focus in the division, whether it be at 154 or 160 can see him becoming a world champion at last. As he surveys the landscape, he is witness to the competition out there and also with the understanding that Jamel Charlo is soon to move up to take on Canelo Alvarez for his undisputed 168 super middleweight title. So Lubin now has, according to the article, one or two options. He could wait until one of the sanctioning bodies mandates a showdown between himself and Jermel Charlo, or he could throw on a few more pounds and compete in the middleweight division. Although Lubin still has some unfinished business at 154, the 27-year-old isn't interested in sequestered on the sidelines. If Charlo versus Alvarez does happen and Adam Adamas is elevated, Lubin is ready to leave the junior middleweight division behind. He says, I know that the WBC belt is going vacant. 
middleweight is wide open and I'm ready to get at it now. That's the thing. If he wants to chase the opportunity to be champion, it would behoove him to face off against someone where he can obtain a title, but it would be better to defeat a champion and not fight for a vacant crown. We're seeing too many opportunists in the sport who look to go forward after titles that have been vacated. Lubin does possess the experience to try to get beyond some of his contemporaries and it would be interesting for him to show what he has learned against a fighter like Carlos Adamas whose record is 23 and 1 with 18 KOs. Lubin has a great deal more pop on his punches than Julian J. Rock Williams did and if Adamas is going to be open to be hit by punches clean and flush like he get like he did against J Rock Lubin could have success there but Lubin himself has been caught and he's been caught in between circumstances within the fight sometimes when he needs to box he's lured to engage and then other times when he needs to sit down he's moving around trying to box so he can be a mismatch of styles within his own right. But it's about his desire and how much he really wants to get something done in there. He's definitely a talent, but I don't believe he has the ring IQ to control a real top-notch battle over the duration of championship rounds. He seems to have these lapses and that's when his opponents usually get the ups on him but outside of that he does have the type of talent that can take him someplace in the division it's just a matter of how much he has learned from his recent setbacks and can he put it all together suffice to persevere and become a world champion lesser fighters have become champions and Lubin is a top fighter. I would like to see a fight with he and Carlos Adamas. It would be a competitive match. And the smarter man prevails. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you think would happen between Lubin versus Adamas. And could Adamas prove to Lubin that he is truly the boogeyman of the division? Peace to everyone out there and everyone remain safe.